Today we would like to give you a brief update about the Electro 5-inch LCD display. Those of you who recently bought the screen probably noticed that there is a CD inside to install the driver. Well, we would like to tell you that right now you don't need the CD anymore. For the exact reason that this CD is outdated and we updated our driver for full compatibility and for late, latest bug fix. So right now you can go to Electro Wiki page and download the latest driver and stay updated for more updates. Right now we're going to show you how to install the driver. Pull the driver on the 5 inch Electro display. So first thing will be to open the display. As we can see the display is right here. We'll take it out. And the next step will be to take the HDMI adapter right here. There is another part here which is the, the pins to connect the screen to the Raspberry Pi but we will not use them in this tutorial. We can take the box and put it on side for now. So let's overview which parts we need for this tutorial. The first thing we need a USB SD adapter to transfer the files to the Raspberry Pi SD card. Second thing of course we need a as micro SD card for the Raspberry Pi. The third thing will be a keyboard and mouse. In our situation we use a combined keyboard with mouse uh, controlled by Bluetooth but you can use any keyboard and mouse and also you can use SSH if you know how to for easier access. The other thing we need of course the Raspberry Pi and the screen. Also you will need a power to power your Raspberry Pi and LAN adapter. The first thing will be to connect the SD card to the adapter, like this, and connect it right into your computer. The screen should open up, and you need to access something called boot, boot drive. In the boot drive you will find a file called config.txt. We open that one in our favorite editor, and then we'll copy the lines from our tutorial in the description of the video. Modify your config.txt file, setup number two. We'll copy that and paste it into config.txt. After copying that, save and quit the editor. Then you can safely disconnect the adapter, take the SD card out and put it right into the Raspberry Pi. We'll take the screen. As you can see, there is the GPIO here. We'll flip the Raspberry Pi that way. And we'll connect it right here. Make sure that the pins should be from the beginning to the end, not from the end to the beginning. So from here to here. Plug it carefully to not break any pins up. If you plug it successfully, the HDMI port should be aligned together. Then we'll take the HDMI adapter and connect both HDMI's together like this perfectly fit we can switch over and the next step will be to connect the our Bluetooth keyboard adapter if you don't use keyboard, Bluetooth keyboard it's okay you just connect the normal keyboard and mouse or just connect by SSH We'll also need to connect the Raspberry Pi to the network to be able to download the package and the driver online. And the last thing is connected to the power. After connecting to the power, we'll turn it on by clicking the button. As you can see, the screen might have some black information on the side and some stuff that are not well aligned in the screen and also the touch screen will not work without the driver. Right now we'll need to install the driver. So we will take our remote keyboard. As you can see, I'm moving and it's controlling it. We will need to open terminal. I open accidentally too. Let's close one and we have one terminal open. The next step will be to go inside the tutorial and find the step that says power on and open terminal. In this step we will need to run this command git clone github elecrokin 
Electro LCD 5.git. So we'll just type it over. After cloning the Git repository, we'll download the Git right here, and then we'll need to access the Electro LCD folder, as you can see right here. All the commands can be seen in our website as well. After we are in the folder, the last step will be to install the driver. We'll do it by executing a sudo command for special permission. Uh, we'll put it in the root directory, and then we'll just say Electro LCD. Electro LCD5. As you can see, the driver should right away start installing very quickly. We'll let the installation finish and then everything should work. You can cut it and then you should see after installation finished. It takes a long time. After installation finish, it will ask you if you would like to reboot. Just type yes. It will reboot. Right away you should see that the touch screen is working and the driver works perfectly fine. That's it. That's our tutorial how to install the Lecro driver on the LCD5 screen.